Well, if you're just joining us, my parents from the States have made it here in Germany and we've been having a great time so far. We at a airport. Yes, we at the airport. We've made it to Austria, back here to Germany. Right in time. <laughs> it's, it's different than what we normally use. <laughs> well, we just don't have it. Like yeah. It. And today we're making our way to Belgium in Brussels to see the Carpet of Flowers Festival. Welcome back, Dan. They just started putting the first flowers around 7.40. We're all really excited, especially my dad who lived in Belgium 40 years ago. So dad, back in 1980 when you first were here, has it changed much? The buildings, no. Yeah. Uh, there were not a lot of people here when I was here. Uh, the whole market square was, was vacant. But was never able to make it to the Carpet of Flowers. And we come out to this. Oh, oh my goodness. This morning we woke up in our favorite castle here in Germany. No, it's not Neuschenstein, but it's our castle here in Hulrich. We've had a lot of fun staying here again, catching up with an old friend, and being able to show my parents some of the amazing work that's gone on here for the restoration. Today we're going to finish out the five and a half hour drive all the way to Brussels and have an amazing time. But first, our host was very nice this morning and brought us some fresh brutchen from the bakery. And we're going to have that and head on the road. Welcome back, Dan. It's great to be back. Yeah. It's been 40 Woo. years since I've been here. It's, it's good to be back. What do you have in your backpack? Uh, what's that? Choco milk? place and it's hopping we love this environment but and let's head into the galleries Royal st. Hubert which looking down there looks really cool I mean this whole place is a vibe oh first impressions of Belgium so far so we found the water closet in a store called Agora here in this popular area kind of a unique place you walk in it's like a mall but also it seems like there's a lot of like knockoff items and we come out to this oh, oh my goodness I can't even believe my eyes this place is so cool I mean the buildings look incredibly fancy I've never seen architecture like this at all the colors are really you dance with it in the Right in the middle of my sentence the music starts coming on the buildings are really ornate I mean we've got gold on them so cool. Right here behind me is where the carpet of flowers is going to be. My in-laws chose the dates of when they wanted to come on the trip for this, you guys. It happens every two years, and from what we've seen online, it is really cool. Tomorrow, they're gonna start putting flowers in here, and we've heard, with the help of hundreds of volunteers, it only takes them about six hours. We're definitely gonna come and check this out. Oh my gosh, but even without that, this square, Insane. So cool. So dad, back in 1980 when you first were here, has it changed much? The buildings, no. Yeah. Uh, there were not a lot of people here when I was here. Uh, the whole market square was was vacant. Uh, the carpet of flowers was not here the year I was here. And so, but as far as the buildings, no. They're still gorgeous and beautiful. Oh yeah. And, and amazing to, to maintain this history for so long. Yeah, and really cool that it's like 40 years on. I'm really impressed that there's nothing like under construction right now. I know a lot of times like refacing churches and like these buildings. So I think this is perfect timing to be here and we're really excited to see the flowers up tomorrow. Absolutely, it'll be awesome. And to, to keep the structures in such pristine yep. condition, they do a great job. Yeah, absolutely. And this is the reality. 
realities of traveling with a two and a half year old. She definitely makes travels brighter, but also slower. Oh, are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. So just around the corner from the Great Place, there's this little statue and it's a little boy peeing, but it's more than just that. This is called Mannequin Piss and it's very famous. One, besides being a very unique looking statue, it was one of the first fountains for drinking water here in Belgium. A lot of people here posing for photos and probably the best part of all of this is I got my parents a little gift uh, for visiting us here. So yeah, pretty funny. Heaven. Oh my gosh. Look at this, you guys. How do you even pick? How do you pick? I want them all. You know what I got first. A sweet one. I have Nutella, fresh cream, and chocolate drizzled on top. Mmm. Oh my gosh. All right, we're here the next morning, and I decided to go for a quick run to see if I could see them setting the first flowers out, and I made it just in time. They were having a little huddle. I ran into a guy from Alaska, and we were just amazed at how many people were here getting ready to set up, so they just started putting the first flowers around 7.40. It's quite the scene here. They have the lines all put out for like which color of flowers need to be put in which area, and they're being very detail-oriented, as you can imagine, so pretty excited to see what it looks like in a few hours from now. All right, well, I walked around and saw everyone setting out the flowers very intricately, and I got talking to one of the photographers. She's from Mexico. There are a lot of people here helping out, and they're expected to finish by around noon today, so a little over four hours, four and a half hours that they're hoping to finish by, so pretty impressive. They're talking about how hot it is today, so hopefully that still makes the flowers very beautiful. We're happy that we'll be seeing them on the first day because we don't really know how long the flowers will be good for since it is going to be so warm over the next few days. I think seeing cities in the morning is honestly one of the best times because there aren't as many crowds, it's cooler, and it seems like there's a lot more ground that you can cover in a shorter time. We are a little outside of Brussels now. What's the name of the place now here? Are we still technically in Brussels? We are still technically in Brussels. We're on Mozartland, where I used to live as a missionary in 1981. And it was on a corner street, number 59, on the basement apartment. And so we're, we're approaching that area right now, trying to find out if the building still even exists. And we're gonna knock on the door. No, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna knock on the door to see. But see if the still, elders are still there. Still cool to be back yeah. in his own own area. Same exterior. I don't remember. I'll have to take a look at the pictures. I don't know. It's been that many years ago. I'm sure the elders and the missionaries have been moved out. But yeah. it's exciting to be here. I do think that I remember the big complex here across the street from us. Uh, but there's a lot of construction that's going on right now. So I don't know. Which one was yours? Um, I don't know what the bus, so I didn't write it down. Does this look familiar, like the boxes? No. Flash forwarding a few hours, it's 12.30 and they are doing the final touches to the carpet here, so pretty awesome. I'm gonna see if I can go up here somewhere and get a view from up top. They have a light show later today, but we're not gonna be around for that. Well, unfortunately, we can't get up to the top unless we have tickets for the light show, but we're gonna be enjoying these beautiful arrangements that they put out. It's pretty incredible. There are thousands, if not million or more flowers that are here, and they've been precisely set out over the last five to six hours, so. What do you think, Willa? Do you like Belgium? Yeah. Yeah, do you like the waffles we had? Yeah. And the french fries? Yeah. Did you think Brussels was so cool? Yeah. Mommy and Daddy did. We all... I, ha I have pancakes. You have what? Pancakes. You had pancakes? Yeah. Oh. I had onion. Oh, oh, you had a crepe today with the Nutella, huh? Crepe with Nutella. We had, for the first time ever, actually, a French crepe, huh? A French crepe. We were all very much a fan. That was in Brussels. That was our last meal there. You guys, it was a wonderful I time. I waited a minute to cry. Yeah. My daddy came me away. Sometimes we, we get a little sad for a minute, huh? 
And then we take a couple deep breaths. As soon as we talk about it. And then did you feel better? Yeah. Yeah. Traveling has been a lot. <laughs> We've been having late nights, but Brussels Dad, really was so I cool. Can't. After looking at a couple places that our father-in-law wanted to go to, places that meant a lot to him, which is really special, then we made our way here to Bruges. So this is where we're gonna end out the video and say stay tuned. We're gonna be sharing with you our experience here in this beautiful, romantic, picturesque city. We can't wait to explore more. It's been fun to have you come with us to Brussels and have you guys join us as we experience Belgium for the first time. We love the food, that goes without saying, which also stay tuned there because we're gonna be taking you with us as we tasted some incredible food in Brussels. And the video is not over yet though because we're gonna continue filming our food experiences here. So stay tuned for that video as well. But you guys, again, it's so fun to have you with us. We love our community. We love having you a part of our family's adventures. If you're having fun, be sure to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and who knows where Willow went. So I'm gonna go find her. See you later, guys. Woohoo!